friends welcome back to our channel welcome to my wonderful amazing beautiful spring rainy Volgograd welcome back to our channel I'm glad to see you here again this is another daily vlog <laughs> another daily vlog about our life during the quarantine during the self-isolation mode in Volgorod here Frank is speaking and sitting under the rain but it's so beautiful here I found such a beautiful place I'm surrounded by this perfect flowers violet purple amazing flowers and I just wanted to talk to you a bit again I'm I can say that I'm practicing my vlogging skills anyway there is nothing else to do so if you're interested if you like my vlogs just look at it stay with us and let's go today it's crowded here because of all the athletes future of the Russian athletics. Finally free during the coronavirus pandemic. This park is again filled with athletes, bicycle riders. Ну, мамайку пойдем. Старших отправили. The grown-ups are left here to train here, and the children are taken to the mamayev kurgan. Do you remember this station? I was here yesterday and now we're going to head to the park to the forest near the Mamaev Kurgan The doggy Yay, the doggy Oh, I'm so, so sad Today I forgot to take some food for the doggies because I tried to save different kinds of you know, food that are appropriate for city dogs and I try to feed them they are going to train here и собакин за ними еще один атлет Собака, ты чемпион главный. Бежите, бежите еще, еще. Еще один круг, большой. The young athletes are over. Going, walking in the forest with the doggy. 
С собакой с ними, главное. Компаньон. I'm not lucky. Yesterday I wanted to film this commuter train there near the station. And now we can see it too again. As you can see, it's absolutely empty. I see it. But I'm not here near the station. The children are training. The train is standing here. It's very beautiful, modern, convenient. And now it's now it's almost without passengers. I'm sure that maybe there are only several people inside of it. It is hard for me today to vlog because there are too many people. The weather is still strange, but it's better. And I just wanted to show you all the beautiful flowers here. Just look at it. Oh my God. I do not know what it is. This beautiful violet purple flowers. I want to take a photo in them. The children are leaving this place. The whole team is going back to that park because they need to train on on the rubber road and I do not want to leave this place I'm sitting, frankly speaking, I'm sitting on this wet ground it's wet because of the rains but I like it so much I like sitting here, whoa this is it the kids are shouting hey mom, are you going with us? are you coming? Oh, and it is already starting to rain. You can see the motherland calls behind me. Mm, it is starting to rain. And I can't leave this place because it's so wonderful here. Now I'm going to follow the kids and to see what they are doing there. Oh, a raindrop got right into my eye. The weather is unpredictable. It's it's something crazy. I'm here again, at the same place, and wow, our team is there. There are so many bicycles. Lasticka. It's another walk again. So many. I do not know how these birds are called in English. Lasticki. Дети что-то делают. Children are doing something interesting. <laughs> when the weather was sunny, we also used to go to the trainings by bicycles. I on a bicycle. Sanya, Nina, oh, my niece, everyone was on their bicycles. But now it's... <laughs> it is... Uh, when you are alone, it is okay to go by bicycle, but another train. I wonder where are all these trains going, because I know that many trains were cancelled. Or maybe they are already returned back. What is happening? I do not know. I wanted to say that when you are alone on a bicycle, and when you are grown up enough, it is okay to go by bike under the rain and so on. But when you are with so many children, it is not okay. It is hard to return back home when the rain starts. By the way, we, we live just near here, there in front of this I do not know what it is, but it's a part of a factory that is still... I do not know whether it's working or not, 
but it's the last part of the factory that is still situated here that still exists and the rest of the factory is already destroyed we live there behind this factory as you can see we are wearing makeup today with Nina what's happening there behind me I'm sorry for blinking because it is so windy now here and the wind just started blowing and I'm I can't I can't walk and look into my camera during the wind normally so we are wearing makeup with Nina we decided just everything is so gloomy and we just decided to make a makeup because nowadays oh our trainings is the only place where we can wear makeup where we can go such a special look i remember that this bird is called a swallow if i'm not mistaken Саня, давай! <laughs> Что ты делаешь? Бежал куда-то. It's a swallow, and I wanted to show you this benches. They're so so interesting, such interesting benches. It is said that they are not under any shelter. They are under the sun. That is why it's usually very hot here. But now they look so so attractive. I want to go there, sit there. The only thing that is disturbing me is the wind. I'm sure you will hear it. All these beautiful small swallows. A swallow sitting on the rubber road. Training is over. I'm here again at my balcony, and I've already realized that I need a selfie stick for my phone. I have a selfie stick for my camera. And I need a selfie stick for my phone with such a, you know, such a holder to hold it like this in this. I hope you understand me so that I could move my phone because now I'm holding it with the help of my hand by my own hand. And it's not extremely convenient. What is more, I do not want, I want you to see my amazing glittery makeup but I do not want you to stare at my face to be staring at me for all the time even though our makeup with Nina is so so festive so bright because you know it's a good chance to bring something bright a small piece of brightness into this gloomy world we already have a joke that we live in not in Belgrade but in our Russian London because it is something incredible. Look at it. Again, the same picture, the same view again. And I'm very grateful to you for staying with me, for watching my vlogs every day, gloomy, quarantine sad Russian vlogs because it is an an opportunity for me to entertain myself and I hope to entertain you. Today was a very a very dynamic day full of different activities because it started with Sanya's football training. I took him to his coach. It was at the opposite side of the Mumai Kurgan. And then we returned back home, had 
the lunch and then he had a master class with one of the famous champions of our swimming club Albert Ross with Ilya Druzhinin. You can Google about him. He took part in the Olympic Games and he is such a nice, such a cute young athlete. He he is always so kind towards his younger friends and there was a special master class for them uh, via Zoom organized by their coach and it lasted for almost two hours and then we had no more time I took our belongings, I took different things I took our umbrellas, our jackets and I took all the children and we went to the Mama Kurgan to take part in another athletic training and that's the whole day now I need to do the homework with Sanya He's still studying and he still gets different tasks every day. So it is our last task for today. And then we will have a rest. Just doing nothing. And then go to bed. Because tomorrow, tomorrow is another day full of different interesting activities. And maybe tomorrow I will film something more interesting for you, I hope. Thank you very much for watching this video, see you very soon, see you tomorrow.